And the Lord is telling you today that he is restoring your fortunes. He's telling you today that he is restoring your favor, your blessings. All that would make your life beautiful is ensuring that they return back onto you. Your fortunes are your wealth, are your riches, are your prosperity. Your fortunes are your good life. Your fortunes are the things that are pleasurable. Your fortunes are the things that bring you to comfort. And he's telling you that that time for every of this fortune, for every of these blessings to return back unto you have come. You may never have known that you had them. You may never have known that they were yours because they were covered from you, because they were stolen from you. But it's telling you this very moment that all of these fortunes, all of these blessings, all of this favor, all of these things that will cause your life to spring forth in joy, that will cause you to be comfortable, that will cause you to be a delightsome land, it is restored back unto you. It is coming to you and you would know that your fortunes came. He says, may Israel's deliverance come from Zion. Psalms 14 verse 7. When the Lord restores the fortunes of his people, Jacob will rejoice and Israel will be glad. The Lord will bring a gladness to your life. He will bring such level of rejoicing to your heart that will make you know that God delivered you. That would make you know that God came through for you. That would make you know that your fortunes had come and never to go anymore. He said, may Israel's deliverance come from Zion when the Lord restores the fortunes of his people. So when the Lord restores the fortunes of his people, it means you had come into your time of deliverance. It means you had come into that time that you will begin to enjoy the blessings of the Lord. O oh, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I will restore the fortunes of the tents of Jacob. The Lord is telling you today, I would restore the fortunes of your household. Whatever your name is, put it there. He said, Behold, I will restore the fortunes of the tents of Jacob. Tell yourself, the Lord is restoring the fortune of my family. Mention the name of your family. Mention the name of your household. Mention the name of everyone you want to see this restoration return back. And he's telling you they will be restored. The Lord is visiting your home. He's visiting your clan. He's visiting your family. Those fortune, those things that are supposed to cause you to live in peace and harmony that was far away from you and you discovered in your home they had been fighting and fighting because the fortunes had been gone. The Lord is restoring it, and as he made and did for the tent of Jacob, that he rejoiced, and he did for Israel, that they were glad. He will bring it also to your home. That joy that had been far, you will see it back in your life. You will see it back in your family. That excitement, that oneness, that thing that should be seen in a family that had died a natural death because fortunes were far, because your blessings were far, because your prosperity was gone, because the things that makes a family remain together was no more in your life. The Lord is restoring it. And you will know that God has been faithful. You will know that the Lord has been favorable unto your land. And you know that the Lord has restored all the fortunes that are yours. You will know that the Lord has been good to you. And you would have a cause to testify. Like the Lord did for Job. He said, and the Lord restored the fortunes of Job. My God, the Lord will restore everything that is yours. Your blessings, your favor, your open doors, everything that is supposed to make your life good, the Lord will restore. He said he restored it when he prayed for his friends. And Job had twice as much as he had before. The Lord will bring it even double. He will bring it much more when he restores you back to the place you used to be, the place that is rightfully yours. He will do it in a grand style. For behold... In those days and at that time when I restored the fortunes of Judah and Jerusalem. In those days and at that time, dear child of God, there is a time, there is a moment, there is a period that you know that your blessing came. He said, Behold, 
He said you should look, you should see it because he's restoring the fortunes of the tent of Jacob. He's restoring the fortunes of your life. He's restoring the fortunes of everything that is yours. Mention your name and say, Lord, you are restoring the fortunes of my family. You are restoring the fortunes of inspiration today. Whatever your name is, just tell yourself the Lord is restoring my fortune. He's restoring the fortune of my life. And he would have compassion on his dwelling. So the word of God said, the Lord will show you his compassion. He will show you his mercy. He said he will have compassion on your dwelling. And he had made us to know in Romans 9 verse 15. He said, I will have compassion upon whom I will have compassion. I will have mercy upon whom I choose to have mercy upon. The Lord compassion is coming to your life and is coming to your home. That even the thing you did not deserve, he will bring it to you because he has chosen to have compassion upon you. He said the city shall be rebuilt. His city will be rebuilt again on its mound and the place shall stand where it used to be. The Lord will restore you back to the place you used to be. The Lord will restore you back to that dignity you used to have. The Lord will restore you back to that authority that you used to command before you had a voice that when you speak, people would listen because your fortunes were gone. People did not want to listen to you again. The word of God says it will restore you to the place you used to be that when you speak, everyone will stand on attention because they need to hear what you have to say. He said he will rebuild on the mound and he will place you in that palace that you are supposed to be, dear child of God. You may have been sent out of your palace. David was sent out of his palace, but the Lord restored him back. And this is how we will do unto you. The Lord will bring back all those people that are supposed to be in your life. The wives of David were taken and the Lord made sure that these fortunes were restored back. Every of the blessings that were taken returned back unto him. He was able to get his wives back. Dear child of God, you will see the restoration of all things back. If there are some people that are supposed to truly be in your life that may have walked away, the Lord will restore them back because they are part of your fortunes. They are part of your blessings. They are part of your comfort. They are part of your peace of mind. Those people who are supposed to bring joy and laughter into your life that may have walked away for whatever reason. They are part of the fortunes that the Lord will restore back. Believe the Lord because he is going to restore them back. Believe the Lord because he is going to do it in a very spectacular way. The word of God in Psalms 126 says, The Lord has done spectacular things for us. We are overjoyed. My God, he will do it in a spectacular way. You will not be able to explain it. He said the Lord has done spectacular things for us. We are overjoyed restore our fortune the lord will restore your fortune he said oh lord as you restore streams to dry river beds the lord will restore every of your portion and he will do it supernaturally and it will cause you to rejoice to be like a dream of the night when you will receive that phone call again when you will hear the i'm sorry from that person you never thought you can ever hear i'm sorry from you'll be amazed you'll be in shock it will be as though you are dreaming that is because the lord is telling you i am restoring your fortune so when the lord restored the fortunes of zion it was as if we were dreaming then our mouths were filled with laughter and our tongues with joyful song then the nation said the lord has done spectacular things for them it will be said of you people around you will say the lord have done spectacular thing in that family the lord have done a spectacular thing in the life of our friend even your enemies will be able to say it. And the Lord have done a spectacular thing in the life of our neighbor. In the life of that person, we thought that we cannot have anything wonderful to say about them anymore. Because they will see the Lord bring back that fortune that is truly yours. For behold, days are coming, declares the Lord. Jeremiah 30 verse 3. When I will restore the fortunes of my people Israel and Judah, the Lord says, I will also bring them back to the land that I gave to their forefathers and they shall possess it. Dear child of God, you will possess your possession. You will possess all of your blessings. You will possess your wealth. You will possess all the riches that are yours. And you will have a cause to testify. You will have a cause to say, God, you are good. You will have a cause to say, God, you are faithful. 
you will have a cause to say thank you for all of these fortunes that you have restored. And you will have a cause to rejoice all the days of your life because the Lord has done great things for you. Congratulations, beloved. Your fortunes are restored. And thanks be unto God who have done these great wonders, who have done these spectacular things for each and every one of us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.